Hi students, today we are going to discuss the topic bulbs connected in series. In the circuit you can see there are three filament bulbs which are connected in series. Each bulb has a power of 40 watt and it is fit to be operated at a potential difference of 120 volt each. So when the bulbs are connected in series, what will be about their brightness we are going to see. Okay. Suppose if you add one more bulb or two more bulbs, each bulb is having a filament and the filament is having a resistance. So as we go on increase the number of bulbs, the total resistance of the circuit increases. As a result, the net current in the circuit decreases. As the current decreases, the power dissipated in each bulb. The power dissipated in the each bulb is given by P dash is equal to I square into R. So that when I decreases means the net power dissipated will be less. So the brightness of the bulb decreases when you go on increase the number of the bulbs. So increasing the bulbs, increasing the number of bulbs decreases the current. Okay students, decreases the current. As a result, the brightness decreases. Okay, as a consequence, the brightness of each bulb, okay, the brightness of each bulb decreases. Now we have considered uh, three identical bulbs. Their power is the same. Okay. Now suppose if their powers are different means uh, how to find out. So for that I am going to consider uh, the first one is a 40 watt bulb uh, and the second one is a 60 watt bulb and the third one is 100 watt bulb. Okay. So this is a 60 watt and this is a 100 watt bulb. Their powers are different. So, in such a case, which bulb is going to glow brightly? Here, the current flowing through each bulb is the same. Since uh, the current is the same, we expect to glow with equal brightness, but actually it is not the case. So, here which bulb is going to glow in a much brighter way than the other bulbs? So, first itself, if you want, uh, I will tell you that... Uh, in series connection, the bulb which is having the least power only will glow brightest. Okay, so here which will be the dimmest is uh, the 100 watts bulb. This can be proved now. Okay, students. So, so first uh, we will find out the resistance. The resistance of uh, the filaments R1, R2 and uh, R3. Okay, so now the first one is power P is equal to V square by R. So that R is equal to R is equal to V square divided by P. So I will take the first bulb is having a resistance R1 and the power of the first bulb is P1. And since this is V is 120, V square is 120 into 120 divided by the first bulb's power is 40. So 43 is 120. Okay, so this is equal to 120 into 3, this is equal to 360 ohm. Okay, so 360 ohm is the resistance of the first bulb. So the power of the second bulb P2 is equal to V square divided by R2. This implies the resistance R2 is equal to V square divided by power P2. So this is 120 into 120 divided by 60 so, 60 into 2 is 120. So, this is 2 times. So, 120 into 2 is 240 ohm. P3 is equal to V square divided by R3. This implies R3 is equal to V square by P3. So, this is equal to 120 into 120 divided by 100. So, the zeros are cancelled. So, 12 into 12 is 144. So, this is 144 ohm. 
So the resistance of the first bulb is 360 ohm. The resistance of the second bulb is 240 ohm and the third bulb is 144. So what is the net resistance? Uh, three, it is equal to three resistors connected in series. Therefore, R net, okay, the net resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So 360 plus 240 plus 144. So this is 360 plus 240 is 600 and this is 744 ohm. This is the net resistance and the net voltage is 120 volt. Therefore, what is the net current? The net current in the circuit will be equal to I is equal to V divided by R net. So that this is equal to 120 divided by 744. Okay, students. So now both are divisible by six as well as three. Now you see that this is equal to uh, six twos are twelve. Okay, twenty divided by dividing this by six is uh, six ones are six, uh, and remaining one and four makes fourteen. Six twos are twelve. Remaining twenty four. Uh, so six fours are six fours are twenty four. So once again it is uh, divisible by four. So that uh, this is uh, 5 fours are 20 divided by this is uh, 31, 5 by 31. So this is uh, 5 by 31, 1 ampere. Okay, students. So, so that uh, now what is the uh, power dissipated? The power dissipated by the each bulb. Power dissipated by each bulb we are supposed to find out. Okay. So this is uh, uh, I net is equal to 5 by we can take this as uh, nearly, nearly. So this is nearly equal to what uh, 5 divided by 30 I will take. So that it will be divisible. No, divisible by 5. So I will take that nearly equal to 1 by 6 ampere. So that uh, the net current is equal to what 1 by 6 uh, ampere. Okay. Now the same current I is going to flow through each bulb. So when same current is flowing through each bulb, the power... The power dissipated by each bulb is given by what P dash is equal to I square into R. So now you see that R1, R1 is greater than R2, R2 is greater than R3. Here P1 dash is greater than P2 dash is greater than P3 dash. So the power dissipated by the first bulb is greater. Therefore 40 watts bulb will be the brightest. And 100 watt bulb will be the dimmest. Okay, students. Now, what will happen if I will unscrew and remove one bulb? Any one of the bulbs. Say the middle one or any one. Any one. Okay. When I unscrew one bulb, it becomes an open circuit. So, in series combination, if you unscrew one bulb, means the current cannot complete the circuit. And hence, the remaining two bulbs will not glow. Understand? Fine, students. Students, we are going to discuss the bulbs connected in parallel. So for that I have considered three 40 watts bulb of resistances R1, R2 and R3. All are equal here because they are all having the same power. Here R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to R ohm. All are having the same resistance. But when they are connected in parallel means the effective resistance of the circuit decreases. Okay, so comparing to the three bulbs connected in series, in the case of parallel connection, all the three bulbs will be brighter than they are connected in series. So the brightness of all the three bulbs will be the same, but comparing to the series combination, it will be greater. Now let us consider what will happen if three bulbs of different powers are connected. So that... The first bulb is 40 watt. Okay, this is 40 watt. The second one is 60 watt. And the third bulb is 100 watt. So in this case, the resistances R1 and R2 and R3 cannot be the same. So just like we have discussed in the previous calculation that for a 40 watt bulb, R1 is equal to 360 ohm. And R2 is equal to 240 ohm. And R3 is equal to 144 ohm. So the resistances of the bulbs we just calculated in the series combination. Same values I have assumed here. Now what will happen to the brightness? 
the brightness of the bulb is given by the power dissipated that is p dash is equal to v square divided by r so the power dissipated is inversely proportional to the resistance of the filament of the bulb so if you see here the resistance of the third bulb namely 100 watt bulb is lesser so that is uh, that is in the denominator therefore in the parallel combination the 100 watt bulb only will be the brightest and the 40 watt bulb will be the dimmest it is uh, the reverse of uh, the case as we connected in the series combination in series combination of the same three bulbs just now we have proved that the 40 watts bulb only will be having the maximum brightness and 100 watt bulb will be having minimum brightness but in the parallel combination it is found that uh, the bulb with the maximum power that is 100 watt bulb will be the brightest and 40 watts bulb will be the dimmest okay students now what will happen if we will remove any one of the bulbs say the third bulb is removed from the circuit we have unscrewed and removed the third bulb the other two bulbs will glow with their original brightness whereas in the series combination when one of the bulbs were screwed means or unscrewed means what will happen the net current will be stopped so that all the remaining bulbs will not glow have you understood okay students now one more information i am going to give as a summary of both the series and the parallel combination in series combination of bulbs so in a series combination if any number of bulbs are connected means then the reciprocal of the net power the reciprocal of the net power is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual powers okay this is up to 1 by p n if there are n bulbs connected in series means the net power is equal to or the reciprocal of the net power is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual powers suppose uh, in parallel connection okay students in parallel combination like this okay the net power is directly equal to the sum of the powers p1 plus p2 up to the pn okay students have a nice day